Lunch evening, guys. Laura's getting ready for minute, making some dinner here. Uh, we experienced something today that I've never experienced before. You okay down there? Yeah. This thing is on my nerves. Experienced something that I've never experienced before in my life. I moved a lot when I was in college. I moved seven times in like four or five years. And I never had like an attachment to any one of those places, probably because I pretty much had something about each one of them that I despised because they were mostly oh, dorms and dorms and apartments in Philly. But um, when I moved to my dorm, my first dorm in my freshman year, I moved away from home in my hometown here in New Jersey. And I never thought anything of it. And I always had a room to come back to. That may be the thing. And this today, we went back to the old house to get some stuff. And I already explained this yesterday that this was a similar feeling I had, but it was just like overwhelming, gut-wrenching emotion that didn't even make sense. Yeah. But I don't get it. It's not that I want to move back. It's not that no, I... No, it's, it's a... I don't know. It's, you get, it's, it's like a mixture of doubting that you made the right decision because you love where you were so much and it feels love so homey. Like you love the house so much is what I mean. It, because it's your little nest. Mm -hmm. And then you get this feeling of you're not going to have it to go back to because it's not going to be yours anymore. But then you walk in here and you have that same like... I'm so happy to like be such here. such a yeah. happy feeling when you walk in. It's strange. And I was explaining it to Joe. I said, when I moved to the U.S., it was kind of an abrupt move. And if nothing can compare to that, nothing can compare to how I felt when I left my family and everything I know behind to move to a new country, didn't speak the language, didn't understand mm -hmm. the language, and a very And it brought back age. a lot of those emotions today. It was and really sad. And that just brought back a lot of emotions. And it just was kind of overwhelming, just the thought of, how lost I felt when I was little, having to make that transition, like nothing can compare to that. If I can make it through that. Yeah, you'll make it through that, no problem. But it was just, any of you ever do this? Have you ever had that happen where you move out or, or miss it in a way? Like when you go back, have you ever had that? So a lot of people just move out and that's it, they don't look back. But when you go back and half of, you know, 80% of your stuff is gone, it's just so weird. And I don't know, I don't even know how to place it. It's just it's like, good, you know, it, I think the biggest issue for me right now, I don't want you guys to think we're not grateful for our new home because we are, but the thing for me right now is getting this house furnished, yep. getting it, getting stuff in this house so it doesn't feel so big and empty mm -hmm. because it is. But once we have our stuff come in, it yep. should be much. It'll feel a lot more homey. On. But then the other thing is like our friends are on, like Mike and Brie, they left for uh, vacation. Well, Mike left for work, Brie left for vacation yesterday. We won't see them until the beginning of March. It's gonna be a long run. We have yeah. a lot of stuff going on. No, we will see them next we'll week. We'll see them one time. Tuesday. One day, right? Yeah, and, and then, then we'll see them the following week at the show, flower show. We never really had a whole lot of visitors at our old house, but it's like, that's another thing. You're like, oh my goodness, people aren't gonna visit, but they never really came to visit us anyway yeah, because we were visit. not that close to where they lived anyhow. It's just so weird. I don't even know how to describe it, but here's some flowers that um, came in from the one and only Bobby Flay. So that, that, that cheers us up a little bit. It's yeah, not too hot up here, right? No, it's good. Because you can't see them from the side. And by the way, this is a, a yellow vase. I thought it was the water that was dirty. So I changed the water and it just turns out it was like, look how beautiful they are. Okay, Wasn't that great. sweet of him? I love them. I can't wait to have our Ottoman center table, coffee table thing that I can put them on. And I want to get some trees in the yard for privacy out there. I gotta get some, because it's kind of wide open out there. Sit right there in order of our stuff tonight. And I gotta get the TV set once, up so we can watch some forensic files. Yeah, once the house is like somewhat together, we will do a house tour, because uh, a lot of you have been asking, and we will do one. It's just that. This yeah, is it. there's kind of this, <laughs> this is, is it. This see is a tour. Day. That room is completely empty. The front is completely empty. Only two bedrooms upstairs are, have stuff in them, which is our bedroom, which is not even our new bedroom set. But once our house is all together, hopefully in a month or so, we'll do a full-blown house tour for you. Look at this beautiful spread we have here. We got some peas and a wonderful salad. And what do we have here? That's just, um, I used up whatever I had. Chicken and the puttanesca sauce with some noodles. I, I need to do a big... Yeah, last night we didn't do a big grocery shopping. We just did for like what we needed for a couple of days. But I really need to do a big grocery shopping. Shopping. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to dig in here. Mm. And a meal plan, which I haven't done because I haven't had time to think. 
Hey friends, ah, look where we are. Look where we are. I put this sheet up because we took some of our uh, equipment out and there was an echo in the room, so we had to block it a little bit. I had nowhere else to hook it, so I just put it on an angle. So, I was explaining earlier, it's been a very difficult day today and yesterday. It's been very difficult coming here. It's gonna be so many of tough. You yeah, it's amazing things. because I, so many people go through this and you know, we think about it. Oh, people move all the time. I don't know what it is. It's because we built this from the ground up, we put this here. We painted every inch of this wall and together. It was, it was a project we took on before we were married. We got married here, we started this thing. We're taking it with us, but it's not just this room. We also did the same thing to the entire house. We painted every room of the house together, picked the colors, picked the furniture. Sometimes the furniture just landed in our arms even though we didn't really pick it, it ended up being ours. But that's how it is. And some of it's coming with us because that's what makes us us. That makes us, you know, a piece here and a piece there. We're just going to have to get over it and deal with it. Mm -hmm. So, anyhow, and I know it's probably sad for a lot of you guys, but it's also very happy for a lot of you guys yeah. to see what's what we have in store. And we have guests coming at the new house. Oh, by the way, Sunday, Brian, Heather, and the kids are coming for dinner at the new house. Mm -hmm. Well, this battery's low on here. That's not good. We don't have a charger here, do we? Maybe we do. Uh, I don't know. Is it maybe your laptop bag? I'll check it out. But, so, it's, it's, you know, it's good. It's just... Uh, I was telling Joe, nothing beats the feeling I had when I first moved here. And my own house is not going anywhere. So. Yeah. And okay. the other thing is, we didn't do a sound test at the new place yet. So if it turns out that we can't film there, we'll have to keep this place forever. Would you look it with me? Good morning, guys. So we're heading to New York today. And I got to be really quick because the driver is actually waiting outside for us. We're heading up to New York. Laura's doing a TV appearance on ABC News. And we'll have some tune-in information really soon, but we gotta go. How you feeling? Cold? Woo! Yeah. It is. Oh. I'm shaking because I'm freezing. It's chilly, willy. We are heading to find ourselves at La Pain with the deep. I know I want that cold salad. But it's cold, guys. It's going down to like Don't eight tonight. And then what? Don't come to New York City in the winter. Lower body workout the day before you're walking around the city because I can hardly move. Can you hardly move? I'm trying to find this place before I croak. Okay, so we ended up not at La Pain. This place was in the middle of here where we were in La Pain, so we just figured it was stop in. We got a beautiful salad here. No bro. Huh? It's like every veggie side and chicken. Love it. Got some hummus here. I got a crazy pita here that I'm kind of digging into, mm -hmm. making a disaster out of it. Well, this throws me. We came back from New York not too long ago. We had a driver this time, so we took a little nap in the back seat on the way home, and it felt really, really good. And we came home to a ton of our furniture, and Joe's starting to put it together now. There's just stuff everywhere, yeah, so forgive us. About this. They, they package it up with the drawer already installed, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Except they filled the drawer with legs or something. Mm -hmm. And then you can't you open get it. the drawer out because the legs are stuck in there because it got moved around. And shit. Yeah. So I got to take the drawer off at the end of the day anyway. No sense even having it on here. Console table. The console table is going to go there along the wall. And the console table is black. Now, I'm not a huge fan of such dark furniture, but I just felt like the place needed the living room needed just one piece of something black because we have the the fireplace the um what is that called babe the face of the fireplace the slab the slab of the fireplace is black so i just needed something to tie no 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 they put this stuff in the drawer and as much as it opens I can't get it open to get this stuff out. Hmm. Hmm. We got our console table, our two mirrors, the one that goes console above here. Bench. <laughs> A console piece of uh, runway. Uh, and that's what all, we also got the ottoman in. And by the way, this is from Target, believe it or not. I saw that exact same ottoman, I think, on West Elm or Wayfair. I think it was Wayfair. And then I saw it on Target, at Target, for. 
half the price i think same thing with the console table i originally wanted to cut the console table from overstock and then i happened to find it at target and then target gives you 15 percent off if you're buying furniture online so i got the mirrors there too i got a lot of great pieces from target i'm so excited i know benji and judy had purchased their i'm pretty sure they had purchased their um ottoman from target and i loved it the square one they had loved it but it will be a little bit too big here and since the couch is so square i wanted something round just to kind of balance it all so that's why i went with that but i love it let me show you up close because i, it, I know how much do you love it oh i love this it's exactly what i was looking for it's a flat surface it's really hard and i'm gonna put a tray on it and act as our coffee table hi the guy from um uh, the original pick for Christian Grey. What was his name? He's in the Sons of Anarchy. Oh yeah. He should have been Christian Grey. I think Adrian Brody should have been Christian Grey. <laughs> and I think Alexis Bladell. Is that what he said from Gilmore Girls? I don't know. I don't watch she that show. Been her, not because from Danny. because from the from the description. Of an stop from you know from when I heard the description from she's supposed to be a very like timid yeah I just think she looks older than him what Dakota Fanning Dakota Johnson Dakota yeah she looks older than him like it's just we I don't know not a good pick not a good pick in my opinion but I shall leave it at that look at them too. I mean, unless you're using that one. Go over there. I don't wanna. What in the world are all these screws for? They just fall through the hole. Look at that, they fall right in. Hey, Biagio. What do you <laughs> want? <laughs> oh, look, there's his ear. One, two, three. You have a worse water. Okay, I don't know. Oh, gosh. Oh, you have low battery, Yaya. Oh, and it's out of focus. Go in focus. Get away from me. Look, what's that quiet now? All right, guys, so the house is coming together. We've got furniture boxes that go, need to go out. Everything's coming in. We've got a delivery coming in for the dining room table, which we need to paint the dining room because it's kind of empty right now. And we've got to vacuum, paint it, do the whole, the whole bit. Um, what's that? We can do that, but I'd like to get some work done on the studio as well. well now, can, something... Oh, you gotta put water in your flowers. That's why they're all dying. Look, there's no water. Put some water in there. Let me perk up a little bit. So, I know it's been a while since we uploaded a vlog. I just want to be completely straightforward and honest with you guys because that's what this is all about. I know it sounds like I'm dwelling on this house that uh, we missed because we missed the old house. It's more than just a house. It wasn't just a house that, that we, we decided to move into one day. That house has been in my family since I was four years old. I had a bedroom there when I was a kid. I have six siblings. A lot of guys might not know that. All six of us at some point had a place in that house. Didn't have a TV. Yeah, what's that? I said your parents didn't. Very funny, TV. very funny. My parents didn't have a TV. <laughs> Speaking of TV, we should probably turn this TV off. So, anyway, the house was something that was part of my life for almost my entire life. And it, it wasn't really special to me until Laura came along and we turned it into what it is today. It looked nothing like that before. How did I turn this thing off? It looked nothing like it does now. It, it's a much more special place now than it ever was. Why is this even on? I don't know. What are we watching here? Funny how I'm not a real sentimental type of person. And that's, that's why it's really weird for me to, and by the way, the TV's not gonna end up there. It's gonna end up there. Some people were saying not to put it above the fireplace because of the heat concern and because of the soot. Well, this is a gas fireplace, so there's no soot. No dust comes out of it. It's just natural gas and it vents outside. There is a little heat that comes out here through these vents. It's actually pretty cool because you just turn on the switch. And then the fire lights itself as soon as you turn it. Well, not as soon as, but... The wall is completely cold. Yeah, the wall itself is cold. The mantle acts as sort of a barrier to keep the heat from getting onto the wall itself. So we should be in good shape there. Um, anyway, that's it. Um, I know I sound like a big wimp when I complain about missing the house, but I guess some of you out there must be able to relate if you've had a place that was in your life I forever. I'm ready to do anything I can to keep it, uh, although I have to keep my emotions separated from financial decisions, but I'm considering renting, which I never, if you said rent the house, I never in a million years would have even considered it. I just have to think in my head, am I thinking about renting it because it's a good decision, or am I thinking that because I just don't want to let it go? You got to separate the two, because if you're doing it because you don't want to let it go, you can end up putting yourself in a, a bad position. So anyway. I don't know if I want to be a landlord again. This wouldn't be the first time. 
So we'll see where it takes us. Well, I say, this is what I say. I say, look, in all honesty, because really you dark. know, like Joe said, this is what it's all about here. We really are in no hurry financially or emotionally ready to sell the house. We don't need to. You know, the house is a family home. It's been paid for for ever. Um, and so it's not really costing us a lot to keep it. So what my proposal is, let's keep it for like six months. I don't know about six months. That's a long time. Well, let's keep it for a few months. And then once this place really feels like home and you start to create some memories here, then reevaluate what you want to do. Do you want to yep. sell it? By the way, hello. Weekend. Well, I'm thinking about going to the Buna Police Department and seeing if any of the police want to move in because police are always the best be people nice in the world. They're the best pe people in the world to have living in a house. And, um, but I'm just saying, you know, if you can I'll give wait, them a deal. just wait. Wait and see where it goes. There's no, absolutely no need to sell it this very minute. I mean, why, why would we? I mean, you don't, you don't need to. You don't have to. Yeah. That's what I propose. It's just that when you have... I, you, technically speaking, we probably won't even leave it vacant. I say the word vacant, but I, I will probably have somebody move in. I've had people who said, look, if you need someone to watch it, I'll move in and stay here instead of staying at my parents' house. So, you know, Eloy's at the top of that list. because He's a very good, good kid. He watches our houses when we're out of town. And so anyway, that's it, guys. I know this sounds like a big, sappy vlog here. I'm very happy, very proud of what we have here. This right here is such a beautiful view. You trying to figure out the dishwasher. It just makes it that much more entertaining. <laughs> and Who puts buttons where you can't see them? And you're supposed to do it before you shut the door. See, that, can't, that doesn't register in my head. You gotta open the door, oh, choose what you want, and then shut the door. Okay, hold on. So, choose what I want. Okay, I want normal. I hear nothing. See? You have to push the button twice. All right, well, I'm gonna get a, get this vlog uploaded. We have little Dominic coming over in a little while. I'm not sure how the parents feel about him being in the vlog, but they might be open to it. They might really be open to it because it's pa mini Papa Giorgio and Kate. He is so adorable. And Just you wait. he sucks on your finger. Now, wait. you wear a glove. The doctors gave him oh, gloves for beautiful. it. He is so adorable. Wait. He's a little tiny thing. Maybe he's bigger now. He was like the size of these two oranges. He was the size of my forearm. Okay, he's he a little bigger than the oranges then. Six pounds, eight ounces when he was born, but I'm pretty sure We're out of time. by the time he got home from the hospital because they lose some weight when they are born, he was 6.2 out. Oh, he was a, he's a beautiful. He's a beautiful. And this is the ramp. How's it going, Mike? Mike's the supervisor and the music musical entertainer. Eloy is the master packer because he's in charge of a lot of packing at Arizona East, so he knows how to make stuff not fall over in the truck. He's also camera shy, as you noticed. 